What is good, YouTube? It's that one camera guy back with a quick update for you. Jason Vong and I are hosting our Monday live show tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's going to be hosted on his channel this evening, and I'm going to go ahead and post a link in the description below when it's ready for you. Just a quick reminder, uh, and don't forget, we talk about some Sony news, new gear that we've picked up, and what really makes this show awesome is the input and comments from the viewers, which we always love. Uh, to have you there. So please make sure if you have questions for us, have those ready and definitely share with us what new gear you have picked up. I'm going to go ahead and leave a little excerpt from a previous podcast about a topic we talked about then. I'll see you guys at the live show. Bye. QA if you want us to see your questions later in the show. All right. I, I, I know they're going to hate us for that. All right. So, Jason, are we ready to jump to the news? I yes, think we are. sir. I think that's pretty good. Let's move on to the news. All right. We just got to got to keep that energy. Jason's falling asleep. I'm falling asleep. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. All right. So in the news, well, it's Rumorville, honestly, on Sony Opera Rumors. I saw this post earlier. I'm sure you did too. But there was an early tester, a rumored early tester, who said they spotted an 8K option, video option, inside of their sony a9 that they were that they were testing and you know the first thing that goes through my mind is is sony and i'm throwing this out there as a question uh is sony planning to drop 8k in one of their future a9 models hashtag 8k uh when you respond to that for those of you in the chat jason um what do you want 8K in your A9? I mean, I mean, do we really need 8K right now? I mean, <laughs> I have, I'm having trouble keeping up with 4K. But with that said, I mean, like, you know, I, I would love to hear it from uh, you guys out there. You know, what would be the advantage of shooting in 8K and what are, what are some of the disadvantage? I mean, obviously, for me, I know that there would be a lot more, you know, cropping room to work with. You know, you can really have way more to work with in terms of screen real estate. But the disadvantage for me is that I'm I'm still having trouble keeping up with 4K right now. I still I still have to proxy on my files just to get it, just to get Premiere chugging them through. So um that would be a huge disadvantage for me if they have 8K. But I think Danny, you mentioned that it's not really it, it may not be an 8K option. It might have been like an 8K photo. Yeah, I, I would throw that out there because even in like the, I think the Alpha 6000 or something, I, I could have sworn I've seen like a 4K mode, 4K photo mode before. And by the way, I don't, uh, the person who was evaluating this said that the, so well, the rumored person, the Sony tech person took the camera away after they noted that, that issue. But what I'm thinking, it's probably just early firmware and that maybe there's another A9 camera in the works that might actually have, 8k recording as a possibility mm -hmm. so it might not be the a9 like some of you're pointing out someone mentioned 33 you need about 33 yeah um uh, megapixels right again yeah. if you want to comment on this use hashtag 8k so we can quickly jump to your comments on this particular topic your thoughts on 8k and for me personally i would personally i me, i would love to see 8k I, I know it's crazy, but um, I'm I'm ready for it. I'll I'll take the 8K if it's already there. I mean, and you, you don't have, have to use it. You have a 4K TV. I, I feel like we're still everyone is still kind of stuck for, with the with the HD TVs right now. I still have an HD TV. My monitor is not even 4K. Yeah, so. it was a it was something that came up a discussion between us before was the way photography is changing and the way video is changing. And uh, for me personally, I'm all for using pulling stills from video if I really need to. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was all about that. I mean, think about it, pulling a still that's like 33 megapixels. That's insane. That would be insane. Um, but that's, I'm, like a high, that's like a hybrid shooter's dream. Just shoot the video and just grab the stills later. I exactly. think David, David Oster mentioned he did something like that, right? Yeah, I think so. Or, or he shoots both stills and video at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've done it too. I mean, I pull for me, for, for my thumbnails, I pull the 4K still to make the thumbnail for my YouTube videos, and I like the quality that I get out of it. So um, 8K is crazy. 
I know it's crazy. It's uh, it can be overkill, but but then again, you know the red weapon. Was it the red weapon? Something like something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That does like what six? K. Does eight K, and that's like a fifty thousand plus accessories camera. Um, that'd be insane if Sony just said in a few months drop the A nine S does eight K. That would be <laughs> that would be crazy. We're like skipping 6K altogether. We're just, yeah, screw whoop. 6K. We're past 6K. I think the Scarlet does 6K for those of you that know about the Red Epic. Okay, they're saying Red Epic. All right, let's um, um, let's go ahead and see what – if they use the hashtag 8K, let's see what popped up on there. And let's just go and jump into the comments. Um, really quick, Little Retro Main said 8K before 4K 10-bit or at least 422. Yeah, I yeah. – I, I would that's, agree. <laughs> that's a good point. I, I feel like we should get we should be getting like 4K 10 bit 422 on the cameras. I think yeah. that'd be nice to have yeah. before 8K. But <laughs> go on. <laughs> uh, R. Dot John Creation says 2020 Olympics are already slated to be shot in 8K. Ooh. Is it in? <laughs> where is it? 2020 Olympics happening? Tokyo. 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 Do anyone out there want to make a prediction? Sony A9s are going to be on the sideline. It's the, it's the Japanese people. They're ready to push out AK, dude. Three years, I think two and a half years is probably going to be enough time to start getting uh, some telephoto lenses for Sony, but okay, yeah. we'll talk about that later. Um, Chris Cheek says AK is overkill. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Passion for Gadget says, I love. 4K. I would love 8K with the 28 135 lens so I can crop even more. Mm -hmm. In Dernandry says, can you imagine the image stabilization that can be achieved in software with 8K? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Just shoot wide, right? Uh, Wayne Walker says, working with 8K cost me like $10,000 just to edit with. Not even factoring the price of camera slash lens rentals. Only reason for 8K is commercial work. No reason for anything else. That's true. Those file sizes, <laughs> man. I'm like buying hard drives left and right right now just because I shoot everything in 4K. Hey, while we're on that topic, Jason, what's your current storage method right now? <sighs> Please don't ask me that. I'm here's what I'll say. I'm I'm looking into a Drobo slash. I'm also looking at the WD Pro Cloud series that Philip Bloom is kind of partnering up with WD to push out. So I'm looking for that like that kind of storage system right now. But for the most part, um, I'm just trying to get by with random hard drives here and there. But yeah, definitely looking to a Drobo system. And if anybody has any recommendations for me, I'm happy to hear it. What about you, Dan? Hashtag storage. Hashtag storage for Jason Bong so we can oh, find that wow. later. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So uh, I use two Drobos. I have two Drobos. Oh, you have a Drobo. Yeah, let me know. How, how, how's that working for you? Uh, Drobo, it's good. It's it's easy. I don't have to worry about it. I've heard some failure problems before in the past. I had one like, like a hard drive fail. It rebuilt itself when I swapped it out. Didn't have any problems with it. Um, there's also Synology. I've also considered Synology as well. Synology. I, yeah, I heard about them at NAB. So I would just do some more research, figure out what works best for you. Do you want to just set it, forget it? Um, Drobo works. Synology, I'm not 100% familiar with all of the uh, little things with it. Do you have to have same drives or what have you? Mm -hmm. uh, or you can just switch them around. Because with the Drobo, you can just put whatever drive sizes that you have available, and it'll work yeah. out the rest. Yeah. So that's what I would say. Um, it gets kind of scary with data. I've lost data before. It's just not a, it's not a good feeling. It just isn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Christopher Engel says 8K on an iMac 5K would look awesome. Would it be able to play it? That's the thing. Um, I think MKBHD has 8K video files, right? I think YouTube's doing 8K. I don't even think my computer can handle that. I, yeah, I remember watching a video. He says he put out an 8K video, but there was no 8K option to even watch it. So, but the video does exist. Yeah. Our, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. 
R. John Creation says, well, why do people shoot with red now? Ability to crop and manipulate footage. I think it's more about post-processing and resolution to be viewed. Okay. Well, Zed Pro Media is in the house. What What's is up? up? What's up, man? Um, we got celebs dropping by every every live show. This is great. <laughs> the problem with grabbing stills from video is that the frame rate is